morning guys and welcome to another video so it's saturday i got invited to go fishing i'm leaving home now and heading down there i've never really fished before but hey it should be interesting all right let's go take the next left then turn right i'm already excited because i just turned off the highway and the ocean is right in front of me Check this out, it's a beautiful sunny, sunny day. Hardly have clouds in the sky, just those you see in there. And look at this, I've never been here before. This is right off the highway, right before Ibirosta. Really, really pretty bad. Oh, and I see the guys there fishing. So let me go and check them out. So I'm here with my friend who invited me to the fishing. This is Andre. You have to check him out on YouTube. Hartman Adventures. Hartman Adventures. Make sure and link up and subscribe to that channel. Hopefully we can get you and hook up for something decent today and, <laughs> and land it. Hopefully. I never really fished before, but we'll see. Alright, it's a bit windy, so excuse the audio. We were right down there. We decided to move up here because we saw some school of fish in this clearer water and see what we could do. Andre is getting the line ready to cast out. We have a bucket of live, live bait. bait. So if you don't catch anything, you can cook the bait. Yep. <laughs> so Andre, why fishing? It's my relaxation. It's what I do and I don't think about anything else other than what I'm doing in the moment. All right, so it's a good mind clearer to clear yes. your mind. So after your work yeah. all week, you just come out with the family and right. everybody enjoy themselves. If you catch something good, but if you don't catch anything, you still enjoy yourself just the same. Because you just love it for the sport of it. So it's just the, ex the experience is part of it also? Exactly. Right. Just remove the scales and just take like a filet off, off the side. This is what you call a slab bait. Yeah. Not live? Yeah, this one is not live. So for the bait, you have yeah. two ways of pinning it. Right through the nose right here. Or you can pin it over the top. Yeah. Yeah. I got right. that. You got it? Yeah. All right, so enough talking. Time for me to actually fish. So you guys saw me throw out the line, but that's the line I threw out. I think uh, my technique is terrible, but uh, we'll see if I hook anything up. As Andre said, it's more the experience, all right? All right. <laughs> yeah, we you real um, active. Very, very anxious. Very, very excited. That's what I like. So with fishing, there is the, the waiting game when we set up. You know, Andre, I've been seeing a few different fish in the water. They're just not biting on us just yet, but we wait. Andre just pulled back up his rod and all his bait is gone. So the fish, they're out there. But there's something about just sitting and waiting. I can appreciate it. If you look in the back, way over there, that's where we're fishing. And I'm taking a little walk along this sea wall. Now apparently this seawall and this road you're seeing here, before the highway, this was the road. I heard that there is a beach further up. I'm going to look for it. And already I see it. Just a little corner, but you can see the beach in the distance there. on the beach well here i am with you guys right <laughs> this little hidden beach in the back here always amazing to discover these spots so there's this building structure it's in ruin but it's not like an ancient building it's obviously somewhat modern i wonder what this building was Let me get out of here. Look at it. Cool. All right, so walking from whatever that old structure is, we have the beach, and I'm going to walk along the old road to head back because there's just little, this little patch here. 
And then the road is right here. You can't really see it, but if you look there, that big structure you're seeing there, that's a Biro Star. So that gives you an idea, a Biro Star right outside Montego Bay in Lillipot, that gives you an idea where we are. Actually seeing a big blue gar swimming up and down, right around the rod, right around the bait, everything, and not biting. He's just chilling. Like we're watching him for a good five minutes, just swimming up and down. Been at it for some time now it's in the afternoon still no fish but as i said we're seeing the fish the bait is being eaten they're just not biting that's the patience of fishing i'm walking around going by the rocks here andre came around here to see if he had better luck So Dre, what you say to the people, right? Who spend like us hours, hours, still no fish. You That's consider it a waste of time or what? No, it's not a waste of time because you never know when you're going to get a hook up. But this is how fishing is sometimes. Sometimes you come and you, you get one after the other and sometimes you come and you don't get any tap. It's really windy today. It might change off in the afternoon and hopefully we might get some action. But this is just how fishing is. It's not a sport for somebody who is impatient. You have to have some patience sometimes because sometimes you come and you don't really get nothing. Yes, well, my family they here, friends they here and we enjoy ourselves, we talk and we laugh. For sure, yeah, just, just being by the water all day I find to be very valuable. So this is my first experience in a long time with fishing. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it, although I didn't really catch anything, but just the tranquility of the experience was good. I want to thank Dre again for the invite. We'll do it definitely again, so you'll see another video of me and Dre collabing and getting some fishing done. Remember to look at his channel. I'm going to put the link in the description. Hartman Adventures. Hartman Adventures. Okay, so make sure and support another local uh, YouTuber. All right? Yeah. Anyway, Dre, thanks so much for the invite. As always, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.